run well every time, you know. We ran a good race today. We got beat. It got out and uh, hopefully not a perfect. Absolutely. We had him right where we needed to be and, uh, you know, he's been winning races and that trip and that horse today is happened to be better. You know, it happens. It happens. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, let's, uh, let's, let's hope it comes good and we'll go to Christmas. Right. Yeah, you know, it's a strange year, obviously, and a strange derby day, but, you know, you guys managed to come and you've got a group of people here and you watched a horse run a great race. Can you just talk a little bit just kind of about the experience of this day for Sacatoga? Well, you know, I, I'm the only person that returned from the funny side day. So we had a whole new group of people that are first experience in the Kentucky Derby and uh, even though it didn't turn out the way we hoped it would, certainly uh, no shame in the race that, uh, that he ran. And, uh, you know, he'll, uh, he'll be back, uh, hopefully, he'll come out of the race well, and uh, we'll look to go on to Baltimore, and uh, hopefully, uh, you know, win that and get some revenge. Put the race in perspective, if you would. Well, you know, obviously we'd hope to win, and, you know, he was, uh, you know, a big morning line favorite, went off odds on, but, uh, you know, it just wasn't a be. I mean, authentic, he ran a tremendous race. Uh, you know, it's a fast pace, and uh, he never came back. And that, uh, you know, Tiz has been able to pass horses uh, all year, and uh, today he ran into one that he couldn't get by. Did he think much in the stretch that he was going to Oh, yeah, I mean, the, top, the top of the stretch, uh, you know, the way he's been running, uh, you know, all year, basically Manny hasn't had to ask him, and, you know, Manny was asking him, and he was trying, but, uh, you know, I think he had a great race, and I think, you know, you're going to see probably a pretty big speed figure in there, and uh, you know he deserved to win. You know he got, uh, you know the the inside trip, and uh, obviously our plan was to, to be outside. It's worked all year, and uh, you know when you look probably at the number of feet that uh, in each of the horses ran when it's all said and done, you know we probably ran quite a bit further, more than you know we got beat. But, but that was our plan. I mean that's the way the horse likes to run, and credit. Uh, you know, authentic. I mean, he came from far outside and managed to get to the lead and, uh, you know, just ran a great race. No you, shame on our horse, though. So. You know how hard it is just to get to this race, let alone to win it. I mean, you know, you bring this horse that, that just has been brilliant. How does Baffert do it? How do you, do you think? He's won six now. I know. It's, uh, you know, he had this horse sharp. I didn't... Uh, I didn't think that this horse was going to be the winner, but, uh, and I don't know if Bob did. I mean, I talked to him the other day, and he, you know, certainly was full of praise for our horse, but, you know, Bob, you're right. I mean, he's got the magic touch, and, uh, you know, he had this horse ready at the right time, and he, he beat us today. Hopefully, uh, we'll get some more shots at him, and, uh, you know, maybe be able to turn the tables on him. But that would be your hope, if all's well with the horse, go on to Baltimore, which has also been a very nice place for you all. With Absolutely, that would be the hope. You know, as long as he's, uh, you know, comes out of it and it's healthy and sound, uh, plan is to uh, let's go to go to Baltimore. Let's go to the Preakness.